Today marks the beginning of the end of an era of medical dogma on nutrition. For decades, we've been fed a corrupt food pyramid. The dietary guidelines for Americans just is something rare for a government document. They admitted the old food pyramid was wrong. So this is a completely new food pyramid. They basically turned the old one upside down. And this time it's not built on grains and fear. Protein and real food are finally moved toward the foundation. Full fat dairy is no longer treated like a mistake. And sugar is called what it is, a problem. That alone tells you how upside down things were. Protein is the clearest correction. For decades, the official recommendation set at 0.8 8 grams per kilo per day, a bare minimum to avoid deficiency. Now the guidance openly points toward 1.2 to 1.6 grams per kilo, even higher for older adults. Nearly double, which quietly admits that muscle loss with age was never inevitable, it was tolerated. Sugar finally loses its protection. The old rules allowed up to 10% of calories from added sugar. In practice, that legitimized sugar everywhere. Instead of playing with daily limits, the focus shifts to meals, which is logical. Sugar spikes don't care about averages. Highly processed food is finally named. Not neutral, not misunderstood. Artificial sweeteners, dyes, flavors, and preservatives are mentioned directly. No more pretending processing does not matter. Alcohol limits quietly disappear. No neat numbers anymore. Just drink less, which is policy language for we probably should not be drinking a neurotoxin at all in the first place. And full Fat dairy is officially back. After decades of telling people to strip fat from foods humans ate safely for centuries. And this matters because these guidelines shape schools, hospitals, nursing homes, and the military. Places where people do not choose. And let's be honest, without losing perspective, this is a huge step in the right direction. A correction that should have happened decades ago. This is not low carb yet, not even close. Grains still sit at the base and saturated fat is still capped under 10%, a number carried over from the 1970s, more out of habit than evidence. But for the first time, the direction is right. And once the system starts moving, it rarely stops at the first step. And that's what we are seeing now. All the assumptions are cracking and real food is slowly being let back in. And when the US shifts, Europe always feels it, which means Europe has a choice. Keep protecting outdated pyramids and lobbyists or start listening to biology instead of donors. So no, this is not the finish line, but it is the beginning. And to Europe's politicians, the ones still clinging to failed models and pretending nothing is wrong, make Europe healthy again, because that is exactly what we need.